it means the world to me. It's how I make my living and I've been so fortunate to have always had this passion to produce eye candy. I am Andy Omega and I make pop art. The colors and my subject matter, they are all things that come across my eyes at some point throughout my life. A huge influence to me is the uh, hip-hop b-boy boombox style of the 80s. That's what I was raised in. So. When I was a kid, airbrush t-shirts were the thing. My dad was also a painter, so they're like father like son. And uh, he got me a airbrush when I was like six years old and some t white t-shirts, maybe some Hanes beefy tees or some Fruit of the Looms. And that's how it started. Standing in the garage, trying to airbrush, you know, like Richie Rich or uh, somebody's name on like the on the front of a t-shirt. You practice and you practice and you get better and better and you learn control. Now, I got into art very young and it never stopped when I turned 14, I really got into producing t-shirts. Screen printing was my method. I uh, looked up where I can learn how to screen print and there was an ROP course, which is like a regional occupation program in uh, Southern California. And I took this course, not just once, not just for one semester, but I took that thing for seven years, even beyond graduating high school. Like I used this course as like my own studio. Uh, everything was pretty much readily available to me. I had the kids, I was teaching kids how to screen print, how to burn their screens. I had people making shirts for me, you know, it was quite wild. It was so wild that the uh, course actually gave me a certification. I qualified for like, not that you wouldn't get some type of certification, but they went above and beyond to actually give me a credential. Master of screen printing. I'm not gonna give away the 11 herbs and spices in this. You guys are gonna, you guys are meeting me right now. I have been making artwork for over half of my life and I had moved to New York and I was selling my artwork on the streets and then it was one of those situations you get discovered by somebody. They literally say, hey, wow, I love this work. This is Soho, by the way. This is something that's been done that way since like the 70s. He was famous for this. Like Jean-Michel Basquiat actually sold his works in the same spot that I was selling my work at.
you're an artist, then it's in your mind. And when it's in your mind, and your mind works properly with your hands, then you're able to truly become an artist.